Hello everyone, Kimono Brownie here. I'm gonna play Pokemon Legends Arceus because I really love this game. Like, it is one of my favorites. Mostly because it has that shiny, or this shiny Pokemon, uh, little jingle. But I also love the game, and I wanted to play through it again on the special account. Loading, loading. Loading, loading, loading. There won't be any, like, internet stuff on this account, which doesn't matter at all. Okay, English. Auto save. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well thou, uh, that thou art here. I'm going to jumble Arceus' speech, like, greatly. I am that which humans call Arceus. Now, I wish to know thine appearance. Um, this one, regular dawn. What is thy name? Um, what should I call myself? I'll just do like KB, the KB initials. Sounds okay to me. All is correct as it should be. KB. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. KB. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. Heh. <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> Lost in space. Oh no, my phone. Sparkles. Pokemon Legends Arceus. Oh boy, can't wait for the tutorial. Wake up. Oh, do wake up, won't you? Are you alive, my girl? <laughs> you gave me quite the shock, falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness, you seem unharmed. Uh, who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand. Come on, who in the world does that? A lot of people, apparently. 
Or not many, just me. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an uh, acquaintance in uh, these parts, would you? I doubt it. I see you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere here you could stay? No, nowhere. So you don't kn know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night? So you don't kn know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. I'd be able to do it somehow. Just shaking berries off trees, rucking it, cuddling next to Pokemon like Bidu. <laughs> I see. Well, no gentleman would ab abandon such a person in need. Crew! Boom! Splash splash! Oh my, I completely forgot. I just cut up to these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's just almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course I do. My, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems we have common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mis mysterious creatures they are. Oh, and what might your ma name be? Oh-ho, so you're called KB. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine you ha it must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking... Seeking, seeking to deepen the, our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as their hero. Oh, there go, there they go. Oh, blast and bother, my darling Pokemon! Why must you run from me again? They don't like you, do they? I'm sorry. I'm terribly sorry. But do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait. <laughs> I love Laventon. Ah, yes, dashing. They m they made it like the worst possible button, like because most people are like, I don't want Joy-Con drift. Why would I press that button? Also, I have a video that's trying its bestest to load. Just kidding. It doesn't like that I try to uh, give it a uh, um, thumbnail there's a glowing beeping object over there You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. <laughs> a message appeared on the screen. Wow. I bestow upon thee this arc phone in thy mission. Seek out all Pokemon. Con, 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 dun. Okay. Here's the tutorial. The first tutorial. Ah, <sighs> alas, yet another miss. Aha, I'm glad you could come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs away, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. Neither am I. I can't hit the bright si the broad side of a barn. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should te tell you a bit about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. 
choo choo. Brala can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it uses its sharp feathers. Oh, so cute. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up when whenever it's surprised or raped. Woo! The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Splash, splash. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you go, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at the Pokemon to catch them. I'm not gonna read the descriptions. Ah, uh, but do you know that won't do for an explanation? Ah, ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where the Pokeball comes in. Pokeballs are a, rich, are a recent invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokeball and then it let the ball fly. It's quite simple. <gasps> oh my god, all the talking. I've made a mistake playing this game. Though far be it for me to, from me to say so. My reading has just plummeted. My reading content has just plummeted to like nothing. Though f far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Yada yada. I, I, know, I don't know how to play. Gotcha, bitch. Don't know who to choose. I've, I usually go with, uh... I went with Cyndaquil last time. Oh, wonderful. You've caught a Pokemon. It seems you've qu quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, KB. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. The only thing you have to fear is fear itself! And, uh, I guess. It's been better than I normally would be. I can hardly ca ca uh, ca I can hardly believe it, KB. Incredible. You know, many people f fear to even approach Pokemon, never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpest, shall we? Uh, yeah, pond. Um, he's gonna get out of the way. Or get out of it now. Oh no. Ah yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another girl, go go go, old girl. So cute. I like Oshawott and Duwop, but not Samurott. <coughs> Here you go, man. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught have only 
to have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't listen yet to they, they won't yet listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, KB, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. I want to steal so bad. How is it that you've ca that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? <laughs> One can only help but think you're there's a reason that you've appeared here now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an art phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somehow? If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. There's so much talking. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokedex. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokedex. Yes, a proper Pokedex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But, in order to properly document Pokemon, one must of course catch them. And therein lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. I forgot to take a breath. Oh. I'm running out of oxygen. My brain is going to shrivel up into a raisin. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all these Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? Yeah, here, yeah. Mm -hmm. Then whoever and from whenever you may, wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We've a Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's go back to the Pokemon. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and meal and all that. Follow with me then. Onward to Jubilee's village. I'm just. <laughs> Please help. Thank you for your tireless work, keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. Hmm. People. I hate people. I played for 20 minutes and I already want a nap. This way, if you please. Jubilee Village has come a long way thanks to the fine people of the Galaxy Expedition Team. The road is canal. Canola Avenue. This village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do and not many to do it. And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to fit set foot outside the village. Now that the the, 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 the have of course for the entire outfit, I can't. I know I can't. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, botheration! I've uh, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we've successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. Might I ask for you to wait at, for me at the canteen? It's just this bridge. It's just past this bridge, to the, then to the left. The Wallflower is called. Okay, um. Excuse me. Uh oh. Um, 
Deactivate, reactivate. Okay. Whoops. My capture device was messing with me. We don't accept we don't accept your kind over here, buddy. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. Who in the world are you? And what's the bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice through those flimsy excuse for clothes. Hmm. For you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Oh, let me take a breath. Was it Professor Laventon? Do you know to know each other? He's from a l region a long way off. Not the most re reliable sort, though. Letting Pokemon run off and giving him the slip and all. Three more of them t just got away a while ago. If I hadn't been resting up after some Pokemon drubbed me with that, a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled them for sure. Sure you would, buddy. But the professor, well... Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Hi. Heck! <laughs> <laughs> but everything will be quite all right now. KB here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. I am never spoken so much before in my life. Oh. As in, she's going to, to join the Survey Corps? What makes you think it's a good idea? We can't just have taken any misfit who wanders out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Gah! Assuming the individual, individual can, can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of te Galaxy Team Survey Corps. Survival Corps. Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Dying. I will let you guys... <laughs> I will just rub that in to everybody every five minutes. Actually, every two minutes and 30 seconds. Maybe even th every 30 seconds. Professor Lavenden has told me how you help secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take it on a stranger who wanders in among us without any ideas of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most re uh, reasonable decision, Captain. I am... <sighs> now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for a visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distractions. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum. The usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Oh, I gotta pause. Okay, I'm back. It was just the phone ringing, and I was a bit peckish, so I, I got myself some, uh... A croissant and some almond milk. <clears throat> Oh, and a little little bite-sized Seven Up cake. That was th those are those soda cakes are fucking delicious, man. Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged, and I feel much better now. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Where'd you find the stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, well, you know the great homeless. Well, ah, uh, the bum butchering this whole entire sentence. Oh, well, you know of the Great Hole in the Sky? The one people these people called the Space-Time Rift? Our new friend fell right out of it. <laughs> Was that a joke? 
Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain all my phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forest, in the oceans. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess or what sorts of uh, <clears throat> wondrous things they can do. But that's where KB will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in qu quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means that we can <laughs> we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. How bad is it that, like, like uh, just catching three Pokemon just outsh outshines like everybody tenfold? That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well. And it seems that our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with the out this outsider? Your captain just o ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. Slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure it will start to rain in the good captain's stress heating soon enough. Now have your fail, KB, and think. If you made it to the Galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. Or make it into the Galaxy team. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said member fell out of the sky. Uh... I'll just discard changes in this other video, and then that was quite delicious, quite delicious indeed. You're awfully rel relaxed about all this. You do know that we we won't have. You do know that we won't get to have KB join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry, I have complete confidence in KB skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. KB, was it? For tonight, at least, we will provide you a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put to, we put to you tomorrow, you must move on. You will be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. Captain Sa Salines like H Hisui in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we've turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing we don't can't fall out of the futons we sleep in, sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for what? Jesus Christ, Lavington. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Goodbye, sir. Yeah, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Still, people falling from the sky? That's some kind of story. Enter. It's a nice cozy place. Survey tips. K 
handy tips for team members. Don't waste your toils to be forgotten. Be forgotten. Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. It's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. There are some lovely stones that must have that someone must have found. But they're just plain old stones. Our five principles behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Difficulties must be faced head on. A paper lantern. It seems to use oil as its fuel. It's a dresser of a very solid construction where extra sets of clothing can be kept. And as we all know, we'll have tons of extra clothing. Where did my shoes go? Like, where do I put my shoes? This chest looks like it can store, in, store lots and lots of items in it. Okay. Well, bedtime. Rest until tomorrow morning? No. Just kidding. So cute, you do. Blam. The next day. Oh, jeez. What could we be doing? What could we be doing this very next day? <laughs> that always jars me because I'm like, oh my god. If if um I didn't have my odd like headphones plugged in and my sister's dog heard that, he would be a barking. Hey in there. Hey in there, you awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. to go did you sleep all right I know it's not easy in a strange new land we better not keep Captain Silene waiting let's hurry to headquarters gotcha we've no food for freeloaders Survival out here is a daily battle, you know. Eh. Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What'd you think? Every building ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. The wild Pokemon, they they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent my sent out my partner Pokemon, but I guess a whole pack? Outnumbered? I could take them. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to rights. You uh do realize if you fail your trial and get flung out in the village, you could well die out there. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take out take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. Captain Silene, ma'am, I brought I've brought Kimono Brownie or KB, KB. You may enter.
let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, you prove yourself capable uh, by going out into Obsidi Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Sh Starly, and Shinx. Three species right away? But none of us have ever managed that. God, how terrible are you? Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her, if the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The galaxy team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels and- Shut up, Ray! Ray, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. Pardon, KB. Come, it, come with me for a minute. For a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. Get on with it, buddy. What did you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokédex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, KB must absolutely pass this trial. And as a professor of Pokemon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. <laughs> Crew. Boom. Splash, splash. Go on, KB. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a Pokemon with a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Oh, no. I, I want to get, I want Cyndaquil this time, like, like the last time, but I just love Cyndaquil so much, like, I just love it, but I will... Go with Oshawott. Splash, splash. Boom. Whoo. Sorry. Do you want Oshawott as your first partner? Yeah, sure. Oh, he's so cute. Splash, splash. And with that, the Pokemon you caught at Prelude, one of the Pokemon you caught at Prelude Beach, for me will now be yours to keep. Good show. I've talked Oshawa back inside his Pokeball for you to, t for you. So take it. It's yours. I, I I promise you, I can read, but I can read just fine. But like speaking out it out loud, it just sounds terrible. You received Oshawa. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones are contain a Pokeball when you're out in the field. Cuckoo! Boom! Look at those two cheer on their pal, Oshawott. Or maybe they just wanted to help KB with their trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when KB fell out of the sky, after all. Well, not to worry, you two. I'll have you two assist me with my research for now. Crew! Boom. <laughs> by the by, which species- what species has Captain Selene charged you with catching? Well, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. You obtained 20 Pokeballs. 
These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work as treats. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. <laughs> you, you'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. My reading hong comprehension just sucks. Dash, dash, dash. Oh, it's Volo. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. I'm Volo of the Gingo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your merchant mercantile needs here in Sicily. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've got you have a Pokemon. You're certainly full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Eh, sure. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get, to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I'd hope I'd hope you'll know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Has anyone lost to this guy before? Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenges challenge you to battle. Togepi. What? Tackle. So exciting. Tackle. Oh. <laughs> you defeated Togepi. Battle decided. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. I love you too, Washawat. It's it's always good to fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. never seen them use that icon before like out in the wild but so few people here have their own Pokemon if only more knew how to use Pokeballs at any rate let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise and to you my sky fallen friend I present some potions and thanks Thank you so much. You can use them on your own, your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I hope you'll. I'm hoping that you're successful on that trial of yours. I'll do my best. More Galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly, after all. If you can battle that well, I've got a feeling that you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do with catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Ooh. Whenever you leave Jubilee Village, you just you have to t pick a destination from your map and let rest the guardsmen know where you're going off to. That way someone can collect you if things go wrong. Hey, I hope you make it through this.
You're KB, correct? I was informed that you'd be passing through. Your trial will play take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Ress is like one of my favorite characters from this game. Like, it, it would have they should have given him a, his own model. This is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now remember what you've got to do. You've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon before you've started. Yeah, I know. I'm curious to see if the professor's stories about you are really true. Mm -hmm. Oh, professor, something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Selene got hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for what happens to our sudden guest. <laughs> she doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. KB's the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors, you see. So in other words, I'm still want the one bearing the responsibility here. Not my ideal state of affairs. Let's just get started, KB. You'll be more than equal to this, KB. Oh, did I just say my name twice? This is Aspiration Hill. Look, a bee -doof. We're finding... Okay, whatever you said, buddy. There he goes. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Silene taught me. Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach. Aim carefully, let your Pokemon fly, or Pokeball fly, and you sh ought to be alright. Gotcha. One bead of caught. Now we march. Now on we march. Hey, Starly! Now Starly here. It's the type to run at the drop of a hat. But not to worry. Crouch down in the grass and they won't spot you. That's how you can get close. Sneaky sneaky. Gotcha. And that's Starly caught too. I admit, I'm impressed so far. Got to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your partner's Pokeball. To quote Captain Silene's wise teaching. Uh, have an item to at the ready, but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but want to throw up throw an item? Press X. 
The captain's a real expert on these things. And once you've got a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks or trees like this one. <laughs> Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things and bring it out to you when it finds. Bring back whatever it finds. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached the, your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. There it is, Shinx. Oh, it's so cute. I love it. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Did you know that already? It has a what? Don't worry about it. Just focus on the Pokemon around you. You'll figure it out quick enough. Once aggressive Pokemon get wound up, they'll knock away any Pokeballs you throw. Yeah. That was a big shinx in that tutorial. But not to worry. I'll teach you the trick to catching them. You draw them into battle. Once it's caught up in the heat of battle, you can throw a Pokeball to try and catch it. You've got a few Pokemon of your own to use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at the wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you've learned to in your battle with Volo. Get out there and make your last catch. Uh, up with it. I shouldn't use up with it again. Throw the football. Oh, bug. Do it again. Nope. Wrong button. Gotcha. Wait. Did you really? You did. You really did it. Whew. <sighs> That's three species of Pokemon. Caught. You really are some kind of prodigy. You must have given Professor Lavender the shock of his life. Just like I gave you the shock of your life, buddy. First, you fall from the sky. Then you go out and catch all of our escaped a a Pokemon. One a after another. I honestly didn't believe the Professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. And here you are with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. Oh, I say you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it's and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, KB. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokémon. This calls for a commemorative photo. Yeah. I've got to admit, it's true, you've got real talent for this. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Silene. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? My throat is dying. <clears throat> well, actually, just I'm just a little thirsty. Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have with them while exploring is a six, apparently. Not that we have anyone who can manage that. Come now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Selene awaits our report at headquarters. I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. 
I love this game. It seems that we won't we won't have to leave you to die after oh god damn it silent a bit hard aren't you bit edgy a little edgy girl congratulations you've passed your trial you can hold on to that satchel i must admit you've impressed me i set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like you could, could be worthy, but you cleared it. This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Yeah, received the Survey Corps and a pair of Survey Corps. Well, it received the uniform and its sandals. Bleh. Get changed in the room you used last night, then you're re to report to the third floor. Oh, God. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. Do you want to change your outfit? Well, yeah, kinda. I kinda need to. Time to put it on! Oh. They, they, they require me to do it myself. Oh. I didn't do it correct. I didn't do it correctly. I thought I I thought that just put my on like the whole uniform. Um purple pink ultramarine <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna get two yellow green lavender this is perfect lavender ice poppy red lavender ice there we go you changed into your survey corps uniform Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. One of us. One of us. But I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. I see you've changed. Regardless of your co you've changed. Regardless of your regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Nice. Now present yourself to the commander. What does Ray's hat look like? Oh yeah, he's got that nice little uh, emblem on him too. And now we climb the stairs because there's no elevator in this timeline. Or this time period is what I mean to say. I have been waiting for you.
I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, so you are KB. Yes, sir. Hmm. Hmm. I've been so I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of. Face me in combat. Try to throw him. Yeah. I would have done better. Herm, you've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, someone will be s slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're a part of Jubilife Village now. Until you're not. At Commodore's discretion. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex. But I warn you, KB. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. I think, I think they're okay. So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this, you begin as a no-star recruit of Monogoro ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will, mo you will move up through the ranks. Indeed, you see, the more Pokemon you add to the Pokedex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokedex will also, of course, bring you closer to the goal that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokemon. Here, you will need this. Recipe for crafting Pokeballs. And 3,000 uh, Pokeyen as well. You will have to, to buy the necessary materials. Right. You are an expert at crafting your, yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Oh, God. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. That's right. Whatever you need in the Survey Corps, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's, always, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, you can even catch with a Pokeball... We can even ca we can catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. Wow. But listen to me, Pratalon. Let's go to the craft works so you can try it yourself. Basics of crafting. Well done in earning a place on our team. Who's Anth? My name is Anth. I'm the local clothier. I've never, like, learned her name, apparently. The professor asks that I ready you a change of clothes, so here. I hope, I do hope they fit. An everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself of the village's humble shops. I will become your best customer, ma'am. Hey, hey, this is the way to the craft works. I'm making my way downtown. This here is the craft works, and that is and that there is the workbench. It's where you craft things. Pretty self-explanatory, self right? When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate you passing your trial. And as for the money the captain gave you, 
feel free to spread that however you like. Any recipes you get sh should tell you what materials you need to complete them. That's what a recipe is. At the workbench, you just choose what to, uh, you want to make and get crafting. Go on, try it out. I never knew you can buy like recipes from An Anvin until like I pretty much beat the game, like the main campaign. Basics of crafting. Oh ho! Now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe that this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. Yeah, if, I, uh, if it was me crafting, I'd have, like, destroyed it. <laughs> All the items. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to... Yeah, yeah. With the power Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. Also, also that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in a Pokedex. And on that note, here you are. Got a Pokedex. Yeah. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope it aids you well in your uh, aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks tasks I could I could use your assistance with. Come join me in the field land camps whenever you're ready, my good KB. Get to work on research tasks. Let's go catch TV or something. Beauregard. Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but over here. If you're going to field land camps, would you mind ca taking care of a request for me? I'm standing guard, so I can't leave my post. But I'll be here at the headquarters if you want to talk about it. I forgot about requests and stuff. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having this chat a chat with Professor Lamington, and he told me that a Pokemon app that after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through uh, battling the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said this ph phenomenon was called evolution. And so I decided I wanted to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. You're part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, could you let me have it? There'll be a word in, in it for you, I promise. Just get me a Wurmple if you can. I want a haircut. Welcome, la young lady. What can I help with you? Help you with today? Hairstyling. Splendid. Let's get you inside, shall we? Go on and have yourself a seat. I'll put your things aside for you. Now then, my dear, what sort of look would you like to go for? Um, let's see, there's short, long, shorn, curled, and braids. I like this one. Chestnut, gold, black, white. Uh, chestnut. And eyebrows chestnut uh x button yeah for now lovely i'll have you styled and ready in no time
There, all done. Why, you simply look wonderful. Thank you for coming in today. Take care not to leave anything behind. I'll do my best. Come back anytime, dear. Those ears. I know Shinx's ears had odd martyrs on the inside, but what were they? No use. I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you in th with the Servic Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've got to see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up a wall. I got one right here. You got one of those Shinx to show me? They got like... It's like the easiest mission. Because you already have a Shinx. <laughs> so cute. Alrighty, let's have a peek at those round ears. Wow. That's it! Its ears have a yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell you what a relief that it, this is. I felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. <laughs> Only the throat's my brain and the bone's a thought. Thank you. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Oh my god. Got a potion. Three potions. Let's get to going. Righto, let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokedex of ours, there are a great many research tax tasks I'll need your uh, help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokedex for you to reference any time. Yeah. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. So do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now then, there's one more nugget of whisk wisdom I've got to share, you with, share with you. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When you they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Look at me and just look. Just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copple, copy what I do. Copple. Here I go. Nailed it. See? That's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by the fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. And that's the that's key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. When those chinks got me with this thunder shock, I might have been done for if the security court hadn't come in and saved me. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me here to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Get ready for some Survey Corps wisdom. Focus on... yeah. You'll see what task. Yeah, I know. Did you see that research task for Bidoof include one about how many you've caught? That's right. Catching just one won't do. You've got to catch two, then four, then more and more. He <laughs> he's so cute. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the Captain Switching Wisdom. Um. Oh, it's too cute to catch. Or too cute to, uh...
I know I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you f focus a Pokemon to check on research tasks. Try checking your Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? You can get that done if you hide in some tall grass to get to catch them. Catch them. Give it a try. I'll go and wait up for you up ahead. Come and catch. Come up once you finish some tasks. I'm good. Although. Carefully. Let's sneak. What's it doing? Waiting for it to like show its back or something. God damn. Like, seriously, guys. Um. That'll cause this one to run away. Um. Carefully. Here we go. Number caught without being spotted. Two. Around here you'll find a Pokemon called Weasel. It's got a, a an, an aggressive disposition. A an a an a an. <laughs> that means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx, and you'll need to battle it to catch it. <laughs> Dangers of taking damage. Don't get hit. And speaking of which, your research task is for task for Breezel includes seeing it use a certain move. You gotta see it, the move in battle for it to count towards the task. So battling is extra key here. I'm going on ahead. Come catch up once you've checked off some of Weasel's tasks. I'm good. It's a one ball. Oh, God damn. Shit. Uh, let's try over here. Yes, you and you. Oh, I got a wormple. And another wormple. Oh, I have to catch some without being spotted. Ooh, a light specimen, too. Um. Sneak over here. Sure. 
Good thing there's like a whole circle box or to check for or else I've just missed it. Never caught without being spotted. Wonder if they'll let me see a ponytail. Pokemon. It's an Eevee over there, guys. spit far away. Okay, I've got three of those. Time to give it food. Got it. Got the Eevee. Guess I can return to Ray. Now that I got what I wanted. You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little re reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. We're out in the field. And here's a recipe for potions too. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materia materials are in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumblestone, you can make a pokeball anytime. Or with an orange berry and a medicinal leaf, you can whip up a potion so you can heal up your Pokemon whenever they need healing. Research going all right? You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn into th on the Pokedex. Pokedex is cover. Yeah, I see that. Once you've got some tasks good and done, go check in with Professor Laventon. See you soon. Eh. I will never return. I will catch as many Pokemon. I don't think it becomes nighttime yet, though.
I'm gonna go the other direction for Shanks. Still doing a lot of damage. Uh, let's see if I can get him over here. And again. And again. Um, actually doesn't require me to cat to use roll out. Gosh, I'm not used to seeing them all shaded out with a research level of zero. I'm not going to catch these other ones. I'm also not used to the space time rift either. <laughs> uh, surely this little guy will give me... Uh, one do I want? Okay, this is the female Bidu. Gosh, I caught a lot of Wurmples. Here's the Eevee. Uh, Miss Starly can go in the box. Um, I don't really... Eh, well, I don't need any Bidu in my party to like use an attack. Um oh ho, if it isn't a crafting kit, you must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings. Excellent work, dear girl. This seems a good time to explain to you about the server reports and rewards they offer. Oh yeah, because Catching a lot of money, or Pokemon gives you a lot of money. Forgot about that. On that note, let me check out the research tasks you've completed thus far. Um.
Mm-hmm. I see. Most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. Yeah. Almost reached. It's almost completed. Uh, the decks for uh, Wurmple. Oh, I don't work for that hard, do I? Uh, not quite there yet, I'm afraid. You'll need to complete a few more tasks, research tasks, before you're ready to go up a rank. I'd re recommend you work your way through Bidoof and Starly's task first. Hang in there. Yeah, I'll do that. Whoops. Wrong button. Um, I will save my progress. Craft. Random Apricorn. Um. Quick attack. Okay. Quick attack. I gotta get stronger to knock him out before I can, uh... Do any of that defeated stuff. me. Uh, let's see. I'll just... Probably should have done a back attack again. Against Shinx. Oh, Eevee's so adorable. Oh, nice one. I don't remember again. Oh, yeah. Um, I got that from, uh... That one thing. You know that one thing? The one thing that's one thing? I like the music for this game. Except for the nighttime music. It's just... Because they use it for, like, the same in every area and it's just so boring. I love how like, they're like, you should do Shinx and Starly and I'm like, Wurmple! Oh. 
probably could probably spotted me. Probably won't get any alpha Pokemon until like I do a bit more. This is probably is enough, right? Uh. There's all the pony ties. Caught it unaware, so maybe I'll defeat it. Quick attack. Almost there. Still stunned it. That's good. Okay, one defeated. I need a mount. I need a steed. Oh. I'm just kind of happy that I got a uh, Eevee so early. Oh, is it becoming evening time? Most of my Pokemon will be at a disadvantage because they only know normal. Well, actually, Oshawott knows Aqua Jet. At night, uh, Shinx go away, and, uh, um, I think some B do get replaced by, uh, um, Drifloon. Number defeated electric type moves. I 
is a very tiny breeze. I need to catch it. You, buddy. Oh. Oh. Come on, buddy, just stay in the Pokeball. It's not that hard. Got it. Is it night time? I think it's night time. Here we go, buddy. Get ourselves some tumble stones. Oh, look! It's a drift loom. Thunder shotgun. Oh. Uh, let's see if uh, I if I can throw a pokeball at it. <laughs> the only time they can be really caught. Oh. Thank you, computer, for letting me. Actually, I have, like, the desktop audio muted, so. This, like, so th you'll probably not be able to hear random, like, computer. Ah, I see you've caught nine Pokemon. Uh, yeah. New data. Completed the Pokedex for these three, but not perfected. Give it food. Oh, I could have given it. Well, I didn't have enough food with me at the time. Nice. N I've advanced a star. You've made good progress on these research tasks, KB. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Selene. It's time you earned yourself a star. Apologies for not being a tryhard when it comes to all that, uh... Oh, does she want to see a Starly? You're that newcomer who fell from the sky! Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps must have... to get out and be... must have to get out to compile that Pokedex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly... Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about find all find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures. But when I see Starly, I simply I feel simply whole. Not not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's entry in that Pokedex the moment you you've completed it. Adorable Starly. Oh, have you completed Starly's entry in your Pokedex? Hurry, let me read it. 
Hmm, wait one minute. Male and female Starly have different appearances? Let me see. So the markings on their foreheads are different in si are different sizes. Incredible, I had no idea. It's because you don't go outside the village, ma'am. Thank you for letting me read its Pokédex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you could find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in this world so adorable as Starly, I, I tell you. Will you show me a Starly? Yeah, how about you see this one? The smooth curl of, on the feather of the, the smooth curl of the feather on its head. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Starly. Want to pet it? No! <laughs> I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after just looking at it after all. Besides, it might let loose a move. Who le who outside of the Survey Corps or Security Corps could actually do something so frightfully at frightful as approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me the sweet Starly. Some po people will see a Pokemon simply flee on sight, you know. No, I don't know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. Okay. Oh, Pokeball is nice. Thank you, ma'am. I'm just a little too scared. Coward. Coward! Um, actually, I'm. I think I'm. I'm. I'm about beat, man. I don't think I can make it through another 15 minutes to like. I've been recording for like two hours. Help me. <laughs> Saved your progress. And that was poke. That was a whole entire episode of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I will never do it. No, I'm, I was going to say I'm never going to record many more. I'm kidding. I'm going to definitely play more because I love this game. Oh, fuck. I love this game so much. And I just would like an excuse to play it from the beginning again because I don't want to like play from the beginning from my other account because I just like uh you know like perfecting the Pokedex a little bit at a time and then maybe Shining Hunt just a little bit though I haven't done that in a while because I've just not I've just wanted to like play it the story again because it's not the best but it's pretty good anyways hope you all like that episode my throat is dry and dying talk to y'all another time y'all <laughs> bye bye